In this problem, we're given the function for the position of an object with respect to time. So our function tells us that the position of the object, represented by x, is equal to 3 multiplied by time, minus 4 multiplied by time squared, plus time cubed. So if we want to find the position in meters of the object at any particular time in seconds, we can just substitute time in for the t variable and find whatever output our output is. So part A of the problem, and really the first four parts of this problem, just ask us to plug in different values for t into this equation. For part A, we're asked to plug in one second. We're looking for the position of the object after one second. So we just need to plug in 1 for t. So x for 1 second is equal to 3 multiplied by 1 minus 4 multiplied by 1 squared plus 1 cubed. If we do the math on this, we find 0. The object is at a position of 0 meters after 1 second. Now we'll go through parts b, c, and d, which ask us to look at 2 seconds, 3 seconds, and 4 seconds. Part B, we're looking at 2 seconds. So 3 times 2 minus 4 times 2 squared plus 2 cubed. Do the math on this, and we find a value of negative 2 meters. Part C, our input is now 3 seconds. So it's 3 multiplied by 3 minus 4 times 3 squared plus 3 cubed. Do the math on this and we find 0 meters. With part D, our input is 4 seconds. So it's 3 times 4 minus 4 times 4 squared plus 4 cubed. Put this into a calculator, and we find a position of 12 meters. So those are our positions for those four inputs. Part E of the problem asks us to find the object's displacement between 0 seconds and 4 seconds. Now, displacement very simply just refers to a change in position between our starting point and our ending point. So this part of the problem is just asking for the distance between x and at 4 seconds and x at 0 seconds. And as we found from the previous parts of the problem, x at 4 seconds is 12 meters and x at 0 seconds is 0 meters. So 12 minus 0 is just 12. So our displacement between those two points is just 12 meters. Part F of the problem asks for the average velocity of the object from 2 seconds to 4 seconds. Now, average velocity refers to a change in displacement over time. So, as a formula, average velocity can be written as the displacement, or the change in x for some interval, divided by that interval. In this case, we're specifically asked about the average velocity from 2 seconds to 4 seconds. So, our delta x in the numerator is x at 4 seconds minus x at 2 seconds. And then we're dividing this by the change in the time interval. So that's just 4 seconds minus 2 seconds. So as we found in the previous parts of the problem, x at 4 seconds is 12 meters. Minus x at 2 seconds, which is negative 2 meters. Then we divide this by the time interval again, which 4 minus 2, that's just 2 seconds. And 12 minus negative 2 is positive 14. So we have 14 meters divided by 2 seconds. And doing some basic math on this, we find this to be an average velocity of 7 meters per second. The final part of the problem asks us to graph the situation of position versus time and to show some indication of the average velocity. So I'm going to set up a basic coordinate system. Here's our x-axis, and here's our time axis. The x-axis is in meters, and the horizontal axis, the t-axis, is in seconds. 
since the only times descript uh, given in the problem go up to four seconds, label one second, two seconds, three seconds, and four seconds. Similarly, the position goes all the way up to positive 12, and then it kind of dips down into the negatives at one point as well. So we got something that looks like this. Now in order to graph out the plot, we can use the points we've already found to kind of give us a, a starting point. Like for example, we know that at the time 2 seconds, it's at negative 2 meters. 2 seconds, negative 2 meters. And we also know that at 4 seconds, we're at a point of about 12 meters. So 4 seconds, 12 meters. So we can go off of the information we've already found and maybe kind of estimate the, the direction of the rest of the plot. But if you want, you could also plug in different points into your calculator or into the formula above, or use a graphing calculator to find out what the plot, what the whole plot will actually look like. And what we find, whatever method we use, what we find is that the graph kind of has a little hump that comes up a bit, reaches zero at one second, dips down into the negatives for a while before coming back to zero at three and then gets super steep and goes all the way up to 12 meters at four seconds. So this is what our plot of the situation looks like. But the problem also asks us to give some kind of visual indication of the answer to part F, which asked about the average velocity from two seconds to four seconds. So again, recall that average velocity refers to a total displacement between two points divided by the time difference between those two points. So a graphical representation of an average velocity is just going to be a straight line between those two points. So I'm going to use a straight red line to connect the point at 2 seconds to the point at 4 seconds. And this straight line should represent that average velocity because it is just the slope between those two points. So this slope is the average velocity. And that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me out in making more videos like this. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. That's all for now and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.